So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight, Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title? Fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. As much respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes, there is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there. You've done that. Baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled. He's so dangerous. He's so scary, and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Johnson. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Vicious. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going. Look for him to circle the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Another straight hand landed by Johnson. Sneaky head kick. Oh man, another huge kick. Oh, and that low kick. Oh, is that a big hit of the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Right now connects with a right hand. It's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Great punch landing with so much power. Big inside kick. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, 
And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Johnson's back to the side control now. There it is, now he's going to mount. He's gotta start throwing down. Two minutes have expired off the round one clock here. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Johnson's right back to the full mount here. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. He Bottom needs fighter to better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, Johnny. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Getting the ball here. Two minutes to go in the round. Nice positional control here. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Johnson. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Massive shot from the top. Oh. Oh, he's got his back. Now he's going full mount. Making all these shots count. Arch, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Great shot from the top position. These ground strikes really starting to add up. There's another one. Takes his back. Keep on, keep on Under the neck. Oh, and now he flattens him out. DC, a couple hooks in. This could be trouble. Look at all that hip pressure he has into his opponent's back. Now he'll start to rain down brutal ground and pound. And you better intelligently defend here. This could be the beginning of the end. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Lands the ground and pound strike. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Round two is next. All right, so for one fighter, the round mercifully comes to an end as we look back at some of the action. What a display of ground and pound. It's his calling card. It's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a brutal ground and pound fighter, and he showed you just then why he's known as that in the MMA sphere. He's the guy that if he gets you down, he will dominate you with positioning and brutal, Great. nasty ground and pound. Great. All right, round two. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. And how about the ground and pound skills in the previous round? His opponent better make some adjustments or mom's not going to rest. <laughs> You're funny. He's got no action to change this because the, this guy on top is so good with his pressure. He's not even controlling your body with his hand. And that's the detail that everybody misses. He's sitting in that half bar, and his bottom half is securing his opponent. So his top half is moving, it's adjusting. He's posting his hand on his, on his face, dropping elbow. When he's able to pull back, he's throwing his punches. There is a real, real, right. there is a real intelligence in his approach to his grounded pound. And it's truly, truly great.
great to watch. It is unbelievable to watch a guy so skilled in such an important area of fighting. Johnson gets the single leg takedown. Posture's up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Quick hit movement there, and he does indeed get back to his feet. Nicely done. He loaded up there in that high kick. really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eight. Good block. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Really good level change. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. While working pretty effectively from the top here, nice ground and pound by Johnson. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. North-south position. Crowd just can't help itself but to laugh. Good work from the top here by Johnson. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Johnson's back inside control. Oh, nice. Two minutes now to go in round two. Now he's got a good body position, yup. Oh, now look at the posture up, and he lands a big head strike. Nicely done there by Johnson. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Nice shots landing from the top position. This is a terrible position. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with super high fighting. So when you give him that uh, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Johnson's got his head looking for a guillotine. That guillotine is tight. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong to allow for himself to get subbed. What a strike from the bottom. Thunder trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. Ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. 
All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end. Oh, oh, so right. oh nice combination. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts. Even when they get him, he continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these, take these submissions. Great job landing from the top position. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. That was nice. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? Johnson's got his head. Let's see if he can secure a guillotine choke here. Great submission defense on full display by the other work, come on, let's go work, let's work. Oh, beautiful fight instinct there as he reverses position, and now he's got the dominant position. He did a fantastic job recognizing, man, I have got to get on the offense. From bottom to top to dominant position. What a great job. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Johnson's back in full mount. Big ground and pound. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Oh, another ground strike gets through. Looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Oh, right into Mount. Right All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Oh, big shots from the top. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Johnson's right back to the full mount. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Setting up an arm lock now. Arm is very tight. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Nice leg kick. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single count. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. 
Wow, what a performance in that round. I'm no judge. I'm not sure a 10 8's even enough. Total dominance and nearly got the finish. Total dominance. Almost got the finish. Was able to hurt his opponent on multiple occasions. Didn't put him down now. He just hurt him. But maybe, just maybe, he will find a shot that will put him down once and for all. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over the 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows. Great fight. And he wasn't Great. moving his head well. Good. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target. And an opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the outside. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Sports Center tonight. I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop in this contest at 49 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Johnson. Well, DC, you know how much I love crowning new champions, yes. and when we get to see these men and women realize these dreams, but to do it at heavyweight, man, just incredible to see this guy realize a UFC title. And you look at the emotion on his face. You can tell that this is a dream that he has had for a long time, and now it is realized. Congratulations to the champ and his entire team. And best of luck, Chuck.